Hey guys, I hope that you're all well. Uh, today, I want to answer this question. It goes, I feel my heart feels void. When I try to raise my vibration and put awareness towards my heart, it feels forced. Um, so yeah, the first part of this question, I just wanted to point out that we don't ever want to try to force our awareness anywhere. If we can sense that it just gently and naturally wants to come to rest in the heart center, that's beautiful. But if we're like forcing awareness into a place in our body because that's where we think it needs to be for us to heal or raise our vibration or, or we have some kind of uh, underlying agenda about it, um, it's going to feel like uh, an inner violence is a, harsh, is a harsh kind of term about it, but it's going to feel like this uh, inner conflict and it's yeah it's going to cause some suffering um, so I would never teach to force awareness anywhere uh, this path of kundalini of awakening is not about force and so and actually it's it's you know that's the the opposite way to ra to rise your raise your vibration um so I would say just al allow your awareness to go wherever it wants to go and then to find rest there. And sometimes the awareness wants to go up into the throat or the third eye or the crown. And notice that even as awareness is, is rising up into the head, that that's still the body. Like your head is, is still your body. Just because your awareness is in your head doesn't mean you're in your mind. It doesn't mean you're, you know, chasing your thoughts around. So I would say let go of any resistance of, of where awareness naturally wants to come to rest at. Because, you know, the, the intelligence of this process, uh, it knows where it needs to be in your body. Um, and so trusting that. And so, yeah, no force here. Um, the heart center is, is a place where a lot of people teach to bring awareness to because it's the biggest chakra. It's the most powerful chakra you have. And over time, it's where your awareness will naturally want to come to rest more and more. But there's different stages in the journey. And, and I, I'll even still go through times where my awareness wants to be up here doing work. And so when I can sense my awareness wants to be up here more in the third eye area doing work, I'm not trying to like come into my heart. That feels, there were, if I was to do that, there would be this energetic dissonance I would feel. Like this kind of, um, yeah, like this inner conflict. It's like we're fighting ourself, right? And so I never, I try to never fight myself. I try to never bring my agenda towards the, into this process. Uh, we don't even really need to touch this process. You know, the more hands off we can be, the better. Um, but, you know, we'll, I'll even still notice at times subtle agendas coming up of like how I want things to go. and um, In my own ways, it, it's less now me trying to put awareness in certain places and trying to, you know, like force it. Um, over time, you could say the awareness itself or Kundalini breaks that part of us down to where we just surrender to wherever she wants to be. And so, yeah, just letting that happen on its own would be my guidance. Letting yourself just really go where awareness naturally wants to flow. It knows where it needs to be. It knows the work that, that needs to be done within you. And so just being there and, and allowing that work to be done wherever it's happening at, uh, most primarily. Because in a way, the work is always being done in, in, in our entire being in every moment, but it's felt most primary um, at times in certain areas, right? So just letting yourself be where it knows it needs to be and just being with it and just kind of merging with, with your consciousness, merging with the intelligence of your awareness instead of trying to be separate from it and make it do what you want or something. It's like, no, it's going to guide you exactly to where you need to go. And so this is like a, this is kind of, it's, a, it's an inflection point of word. I don't know, but this is kind of also an opening when we start merging with awareness itself. Um, this is an opening into a greater spaciousness, into a greater uh, and deeper rest. Because um, now there's not two, there's one. 
And when there's one, there's peace. Um, and so letting yourself be like swallowed up by awareness itself is another way to say this. And, and then it will just naturally guide. It will naturally go where it's meant to go in, a, in any given moment. Um, but there is this, you know, there, there can be some usefulness to this gentle pointing if someone's really in thoughts, not necessarily in their head space, but in their thoughts, there can be this gentle pointing of like, hey, what's going on in your heart? That's something that really intuitively comes to me a lot when I sit with people. It's like, I can tell that there's a lot going on in their heart and they're trying and they're, that there's so much going on there. It's like the separate self is trying to escape into thoughts. So that point of like what's going on in the heart can be really powerful. Um, but, you know, we don't want to confuse that with like forcing ourselves into a heart. It, it's not like that. Um, it's, it's just more of a gentle allowing. Like if you're meant to be in your heart center, it will feel very um, soothing even and just like, oh, like rest to come into the heart. But if you're meant to be up here, letting things work themselves out in the third eye, crown, etc., throat, you really try to bring yourself into your heart, that will feel like an inner conflict. So just wanted to kind of um, parse that out, if you will. And the second part of this is also been feeling cool energy rising from my stomach to my heart and upwards, sometimes on my spine. Is this also signs of a spiritual awakening? Yeah, this is a beautiful thing. Um, yeah, some... Uh, Feels like maybe some kundalini activation happening and this cool energy at its essence it's like bliss um and it, it's a it's a really um beautiful blessing that the divine um is is really gifting you and so i would say to continue to open to this energy to allow it to rise um and to know that this is god this is god waking up in you as you, as one of my favorite teachers, Craig Holiday, uh, like to say a lot. And, and so, yeah, this is a sign, um, a definite sign that uh, a lot of, uh, like a, a lot of miracles are unfolding within you. And so just to really uh, open to this energy, to trust it, to go wherever it wants to go and to let yourself become one with it. Um, and that's the path. It's like, in essence, you actually are this cool energy that's rising. You actually are awareness itself. Um, a lot of times we get identified with the one who wants to raise its vibration and wants to get something out of this process. Um, and that's where like the force can come and the agendas <clears throat> and that's can create a bit more inner suffering or a lot more inner suffering. <laughs> um, but I hope this video is helpful. I just wanted to answer this question it's been sitting here for a while so hope this is uh hope this kind of brings some reassurance some resolution um to the questioner or to anyone else going through something similar but you know my heart is with you all sending you all so much love namaste